I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Imagination. Life is your creation. Come on, Barbie. Let's get woke. So here's something I never thought I'd have to say, although there's been a lot of evidence that it's been around for a while. Barbie's woke. Woke AF, as some kids might say. How do you do, fellow kids? So today's discussion is going to focus on the controversial themes that are in the upcoming Barbie movie and the fact that this is likely to hurt the film's performance at the box office. Why? Well, the impact of gender ideologies and agenda-driven narratives in entertainment have really driven away a huge part of the core audience, at least over the course of the last several years. This will further gather focus with the release of Indiana Jones and the Depends Adult Diaper film that's releasing soon. Films that push these neo-Marxist uh, ideas out instead of favoring story are losing truckloads of money at the box office each and every weekend. Barbie seems to be signing up for this hurdle on purpose through its marketing and actor promotion, and I don't understand the ends that they're trying to reach. So get ready for the honest critique of how movies like Barbie can sometimes prioritize their messaging over the joy and escapism that they should offer instead. The fine line between social commentary and the entertainment value of films is always the jump rope that Ken and Barbie dreamt of. Right? Here we go. All right, so today we are going to talk seriously about something, about the controversies that are surrounding movies made for the non-existent modern audience. We're gonna be taking a critical stance on this and especially on the upcoming Barbie film and the agenda-driven ideologies that it's promoting. Well, at least according to the actors and the creators of this project. And look, it's no longer that we are sacrificing the enjoyment of entertainment for the sake of pushing specific narratives. It's a reality that is literally destroying all of entertainment and it doesn't matter what vein it's in. And because this subject matter is so serious that I have to give you this thought before we push on. With gender roles playing such a big part in the new Barbie movie and how they deny people half of their humanity, I guess they forgot that Ken's humanity is denied entirely. He's just a plastic figure with a painted on smile. Poor guy, yeah, he never stood a chance. That's big brain thinking there, right? Right? Anyway, so of course my attention was drawn to this one because of a few videos that were out there and of course a wonderful piece of writing in Bounding Into Comics and it was written by the main guy over there, John F. Trent, who really knows how to paint a picture. They actually really nailed it in this article um, and it inspired me to go a bit deeper here because I think there's a lot of room for commentary. So during a recent interview with Fandango correspondent Naz Perez, the cast of the Barbie movie actually discussed their intentions to challenge gender roles. However, this actually does raise a question. Are these messages being delivered at the expense of fun and the whimsical nature of the character of Barbie? Probably. And will this undermine people's enjoyment, especially younger people? Although I would say Barbie has a broad interest that spans nearly all ages of adult females. Critics are arguing that while addressing societal issues is occasionally something that needs to be done in film and TV, Entertainment should prioritize engaging storytelling and universal appeal. I can't argue with that. Barbie has always been a symbol of imagination and playfulness at her very core. But a growing number of audience members fear that the movie's agenda-driven narrative based on these responses from this particular interview risks alienating the audiences. I don't think it just risks it. I think it guarantees that this movie takes a hundred to two hundred million dollar hit on what its potential box office could have been. Talk about stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. The Barbie movie is supposedly aiming to make a bold statement about gender roles, but at what cost? Well, I gave you an example a second ago. Some moviegoers are expressing concern that the focus on specific ideologies detracts from the joy and escapism that movies like Barbie should provide. And believe it or not, that's the entire point. They want to rob and strip out anything that will allow you to escape or have fun and replace it with a whole lot of narrative. 
a sermon, proselytizing, you pick. Of course, the obvious question there being, shouldn't the primary goal be to entertain and inspire rather than to push that radical neo-Marxist agenda? Well, of course it should be. To be fair, when you look at a character like Ken, or I guess the doll or action figure, whatever you want to call it, we don't really know a lot about him. We don't know whether or not he is a an influencer that is actually, you know, taking advantage of his amazing physical looks and his perfectly coiffed hair. Or perhaps is he just a kept man because Barbie makes so much money in her modeling career? Because to be fair, we can't really extrapolate what her profession was at any point in time. And believe it or not, I think that's the entire point, because with dolls and characters like this, you give them some vague situations, and then you leave it up to the imagination of the children, well, and even some adults, to figure out what they're going to do with their doll, with their action figure, which with whatever it is, what thing that they're playing with in their imagination. And when you introduce ideas like this, you're actually eliminating anybody's imagination when it comes to these characters. And that could be a real problem. And you're starting to see a lot of pushback because viewers are increasingly arguing that movies should offer some kind of balanced approach that allows audiences to interpret and engage with the themes that are presented as long as they're not ham-fisted or overly agenda-driven nonsense. And that's largely because when ideologies take center stage, it can actually overshadow the enjoyment of a film and lead to a sense of preachiness. I return you to my previous comments. Is there a way to actually incorporate thought-provoking content without sacrificing the magic of cinema? Well, in modern Hollywood, the answer to that is a resounding no. And this has caused its own social contagion. What's happening is there is a growing number of cinema goers that are limiting the films that they see to a very precious few. This results in these film lovers actually keeping their wallets closed to an ever-increasingly barefaced force social change initiative that is very similar, strikingly similar, to the Chinese Cultural Revolution. That saw the elimination of gender and the other radical social moves that ended up tearing down the very fabric of their society, leading to a very authoritarian version of socialism. Or is it communism? I don't know, it's a blend of the two and it's absolutely horrible. Do you want to live in that world? I surely don't. And what really makes this funny is that without Western ideals, Barbie never would have existed in the first place. You wouldn't have a character to play with in the modern world with, well, this kind of appeal. Oh, and let me say something very controversial. Part of Barbie's appeal, or a large part of it, is she's attractive and fit and obviously fun. There's no denying that entertainment has always been a very powerful tool for sparking conversations and challenging some societal norms here and there. It's oftentimes reinforcing those societal norms as well. However, some are suggesting that striking the right balance between messaging and entertainment value is essential. And I'll say to that, it isn't even possible. Critics warn that with agendas overshadowing creativity and reliability, films risk becoming vehicles of propagating ideologies rather than providing genuine entertainment. I don't know how you could argue with that. So what's required here is some thoughtful analysis that is used to emphasize the need for movies to offer some diverse perspectives, perhaps, but also allow viewers to draw their own conclusions. And you can certainly address social issues, uh, and that may be part of an individual's goals, but entertainment should not lose sight of the most important primary purpose that it has, which is to captivate and engage audiences and ultimately leave you with some form of satisfaction in the end. Films like Barbie specifically have the potential to inspire without sacrificing the joy and escapism that, well, it would offer. Except you weren't afforded that opportunity with this film, apparently. Now, as the debate is going to rage on over the course of the next few days, as we get closer and closer to this film's release date, it's vital to question the motives behind anything that's agenda-driven or an agenda-driven narrative specifically when it comes to entertainment. Movies like Barbie being a platform for neo-Marxism at the expense of entertainment value is just one of hundreds of examples of the last few years, because I think we're 
practically drowning underneath the weight of these unsatisfying film and television projects. Striving for an approach that stimulates thought, I can understand, but you still have to deliver that enchantment, that joy, that escapism, and whatever else you want to call it. That way, you can actually have movies that move us forward rather than, well, seriously backward. Remember to like and subscribe to the video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I just want to say thank you because a lot of you have been doing that lately and we are closing in on that magical goal of 10,000 as we've jumped over 7,200. Thank you very much. Finally, I just want to say your opinions are important to me. It's very valuable. It helps to inform my opinion. So please share them. I can't overemphasize that enough. And with that, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye.